Written by Lauren H. Kirstein. Illustrated by Natalia Moore. Calvin clunked his suitcase up the steps of another house. This isn't your home, his thoughts shouted. Nobody wants you, his feelings rumbled. I'm so happy you're here, Maggie said. Sure. Calvin thumped his backpack onto the floor. He wasn't ready to unpack yet. That night, Maggie asked, May I hug you goodnight? Nah, Calvin replied. Well then, sweet dreams, Maggie said. Calvin lay in the dark. Nobody wants you. This isn't your home. Go away, Calvin whispered. He shoved his feelings down, 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 until... Maggie told Calvin about his new school. His fear exploded. He thought bouncing a basketball would quiet his feelings. His hands shook as he waited for Maggie's reaction. Maggie's forehead creased, but she didn't yell. Wanna shoot some hoops outside? Maggie asked. Nah, said Calvin. She waited, breathing in and breathing out. Calvin's breath joined Maggie's. His thoughts quieted as they walked outside. He bounced the ball as high as the sky. His stomach steadied like a spring breeze. May I hug you good night? Maggie asked. Nah. Well then, sweet dreams. Maggie? Calvin asked, his voice gruff. Yes? Why do you want to hug me anyway? I want to hug you because you're quite huggable. Oh, I am? Yes, you are. Why didn't anyone else think that? Maybe they didn't realize you can bounce a ball for an hour. You're like a persistent beaver pounding sticks into his lodge. I am? Like no one I've ever met. The next morning, Calvin couldn't find his favorite shirt from Mama. He thought throwing and kicking would quiet his feelings. His nightstand hit the wall and plaster showered the floor. He wrung his hands, waiting for Maggie's reaction. Maggie raised an eyebrow, but she didn't yell. Try this, she said, handing Clay to Calvin. Nah. His heart pounded. She waited, breathing in and breathing out. Calvin's breath joined Maggie's. His thoughts quieted. He squeezed, rolled, and kneaded the clay. He made snow people and snakes, circles and spheres. His heart settled like butterfly wings. May I hug you good night? Maggie asked. Nah. Maggie blew a kiss. Well then, sweet dreams. Why do you want to hug me anyway? Calvin blurted. Because you're quite huggable. You're like a strong superhero protecting the world. I am? Like no one I've ever met. Calvin imagined using superhero powers to control his thoughts and feelings. Maggie wants me. I like this house. For homework, Calvin had to draw a family picture. Anger roared in his ears. His fists curled. His teeth clenched. He thought jumping up and down would quiet his feelings. The bed broke. Calvin covered his eyes, waiting for Maggie's response. Maggie crossed her arms and frowned, but she didn't yell. Wanna take a walk? She asked. Nah. Calvin's tummy twisted. She waited breathing in and breathing out. Calvin's breath joined Maggie's. His thoughts quieted. He led Maggie outside. Birds chirped. Squirrels chattered. Calvin's tummy settled like a quiet winter's snow. Calvin breathed in and breathed out as he finally unpacked his suitcase. His eyes met Mama's. He traced her hand-drawn heart, 
and remembered Maggie's words. You're quite huggable. His body felt lighter, weightless. May I hug you good night? Maggie asked. Why do you want to hug me anyway? Because you're quite huggable. I love how you flip and fly through the air. You're like an eagle soaring through the clouds. I am? Like no one I've ever met. Calvin's tummy felt bubbly and warm. He inched his hand toward Maggie's. Maggie wants me. This could be my home. Maggie, is this my home for a while? Yes, Calvin, this is your home for a while. He nodded. Could you hug me good night? Maggie reached out. You're like a cuddly bear cub. Calvin melted into her arms. And you're like a mama bear. I am like no one I've ever met. The end.